Let's take the third part of this question. The question says that uh, utility function is root x plus y. As you would have guessed, this is a quasi-linear preference. So if you notice, you will see that x is coming non-linearly. And y is coming linearly. In order to go ahead and take this question forward, let's say that I assume the utility of this function equal to some limit. So let's say I take it at 8. So what will I get? Then I can go ahead and make different points. So let's say that x is 1. Right. What would be y? y will have to be 7. Let's say that x is 4. Root 4 is 2. What would be y? y would be 6. When x is 0, y would be 8. When y is 0, x would be root 8, uh, sorry, root 64, isn't it? You can take different values of x and y to solve this question. So just assume that x is 64, then your utility that you will get will be root 64 and y is 0 plus 0. So this would be 8 plus 0 and this would be 8. So the utility that you will be getting from this utility function, this would be 8, which is fine. I want to hold it constant here. Now if I start plotting this up, what do I get? When x is 64, very, very high, y is 0. So if somewhere here, let's take 64. When x is 1, y is 7. When x is 8, y is, uh, sorry, when it, y is 8, x is 0. So, you know, if I take this into a 64 part, half of 64 will be 32. Half of 32 will be 16. And half of 16 would be 8. So just note what I am doing. I am saying when y is 8, x is 0. Which means this is one such point that I have. And the second point that I am mentioning is that when x is 64, so high, then y becomes 0. Both these points give you the same utility. And then there are points in between when x is 1, y was very close to 8, 7. When, you know, x was 4, then y was just 6. So somewhere over here and so on. So, you know, it's declining initially this, this, this. It's declining very, very slowly till it goes and touches the x-axis. So very, very slow declines are taking place. It is going to slope downwards, but the decline is very small. So, you know, if I have, let me do it with a very thin line, it's like this. It's declining, 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 till it reaches this point. It has a curve, of course. It's curved because it's declining, but this is it. Now, if you ask me, so all, all curves would be like this, like this. This is your indifference map. 
like this. Now, if you ask me, what is the slope? Slope is MRS. MRS is MUX by MUY. So if my utility function is root x plus y, and you differentiate this with respect to x, what can you get? You will get 1 by 2 root x. And if you differentiate this with respect to y, you will get 1. 1 by 2 root x. The question is the same. Is it convex? Richard. I told you that it is convex if MRS diminishes. If I have to check what happens to MRS as X changes, what do I get? I have to differentiate root X with respect to X. So I will get minus 1 by 2 X to the power minus 3 by 2. So this would be minus 1 by 4 x root x. This is less than 0. So my MRS is in fact diminishing. Let's check the answer now. So this is what I have gone ahead and given you step by step. So just consider that you have your utility set at 8. If your utility is set at 8, you just put 8 is equal to root x plus y. You go ahead and you formulate various points like we did. And you find, okay, if x is 0, what will be y? When y is 0, what will be x? You join all such points together. So here it will be at 8, here it will be at 64. And then, you know, all other curves will be like this. So it will be an indifference map. Now, the next question that arises is what is MRS? So as I told you, MRS is MUX by MUY. And that is your this 1 by 2 root X. We know that as X is increasing, MRS is decreasing. So my ICs are convex to origin. That's this part. Part C. I hope that is clear. Okay. 